Hey guys, I have a very, very interesting flashlight here. Uh, it's actually one of two different models from this company. Uh, these were provided to me uh, for review. Uh, very, very interesting lights. Uh, and actually kind of, uh, kind of their own thing, you know. It's not, it's not really comparable to uh, any flashlights I've seen thus far. Um, definitely have their, uh, their own little market here. And they're basically hands-free, uh, portable LED area lights. Uh, what I mean by that is that uh, it's all flood. It's not like your traditional flashlight, which has a focus beam. Uh, these are more for you know closer quarter um, activities. It is hands-free. Tons of different uh, positions and all kinds of cool stuff you can uh, you know use this for. Uh, and very very versatile. Uh, the company. This is the box by the way it comes in. The company is uh, Altus Lumen, as you can see here. Now this uh, specific model is the Pad L, P A D dash L, and um, it's very very interesting. I'm also going to do a review on the uh, another version uh, of this light, uh, but this one, like I said, is the Pad L, and the contents, which it says right in the cover here on this cover sticker, you're going to get the Pad L light, the light itself. You're going to get a carry bag, uh, a cable winder, and the user guide. So I like first right off the bat, I like how they tell you what the contents are, you know, in the package. So first off, you know that you know you got everything that was supposed to be included. So open the box up here. Here's your user guide. Put that to the side. Here's your actual flashlight, very uh, thin little profile. And pulling up, here's a little, just a little spacer, so it doesn't rattle around. Now pulling up the cardboard here. On the inside, you have your um, cable organizer, which is very interesting. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, and then you get your carry case. Put the box aside here. So here's what's included. Let me take the light out of this packaging. Now there's a flashlight. Now first first thing you're gonna notice is that it's flat. You know, I mean, <laughs> uh, most flashlights you see are rounded, handheld. This is a hands-free unit. Um, as you can see, very thin. Of course, I'll give you dimensions throughout the video. I actually have them, uh, you know, for my foreign viewers as well as my American viewers, which is different. Um, so that that should be nice. So everyone's on the same page here. Uh, but yeah, very compact, small. Uh, first, let me go over the, the case you get here, uh, your nice uh, tag, uh, Altus Lumen, on the side. It's actually two compartments, two zipper compartments. I'll uh, open both those for you. Actually, very well padded. Um, nice thick padding in here. You can use uh, either side, whichever one you want, to actually store the light itself. Obviously, a perfect fit here. Heavy-duty zippers, too. Very good quality. Uh, very compact. You can wear this on your side if you wanted to. You can feed your belt right through here if you want to carry it on your side. Or it actually comes with this very uh, heavy-duty uh, split ring. If you wanted to maybe throw a carabiner on here, throw it on your backpack, or you know maybe use that to uh, carry it on your belt. But very cool. You have an extra pocket here if you wanted to. You can throw in your uh, cable organizer, you know, or you can put in your user guide just in case. You know, maybe you're still new to the light and you want to uh, you know keep those uh, directions with you. Besides the two zipper pockets, you also have a little open pouch in the front here, which of course you can put anything in there. What I really like about this is that um, you know even if you don't want to carry your light, let's say you know use it, keep it at home, well you still got to get the case. And this is actually very versatile. You can use this for a lot of different things. And depending on uh, you know what kind of camera you use, if you have a sort of a flatter, thinner profile camera, this would actually make a great little uh, pocket digital camera pouch. Um, you know, so it's just cool to have options there. Again, even if you weren't going to use it with the light, you still get it. So it is included. Very nice little case. Uh, so, a little bit more about the light before I get into the uh, instructions and stuff. Here's the light itself. It's uh, running on four half-watt LEDs. Um, very, very environmentally friendly piece altogether. Uh, that's kind of the idea behind it. I mean, these, these are made out of... Uh, Recycled aluminum, so you know all you guys who are very earth conscious and want to be earth friendly. It is, uh, you know, mostly made out of recycled materials, and in fact, after its uh, shelf life, you know, way down the road, um, it is 75% recyclable. So, if you uh, are interested in that, uh, it is earth, you know, friendly in that sense. Let me show you how it works here. You have a button on the side. Now, this uh, specific model. Um, has a couple different modes. First let me show you the uh, instruction manual. 
It's actually very thorough. Fold out. Gives you everything you need to know, all the way from suggested uses over here, as you can see. Kind of scan through here. I mean, of course, this is uh, only limited to your imagination. There's probably over 100 different uses you can use this for. But very simple, clear instructions. Um, you know, you can't, you can't mess up with this. I mean, when you get it, you scan over this a little bit, and, you know, you familiarize yourself with the, uh, the product. And I've been actually using this on and off for about a week now. You know, just testing it out. Uh, since it's completely new to me, I didn't want to just jump in and make a video right away. I did want to kind of research a little bit more and actually use the thing to see not only how durable it is with use, uh, but, you know, how, uh, how efficient it's going to be and, you know, if it's going to actually work for me or not. And it actually works very well. Um, like I said, there's, it's running on four half-watt LEDs. I actually have my jeweler's loop here. I'll bring in nice and close and show you what those look like. So you can see here it's all one big rectangular uh, reflector, which is very interesting. And it does, it shoots nothing but, but flood, so it gives you a perfect area light. See those little LEDs in there? So basically what I'm saying is that when you use this, it's going to light up an area with constant light. There's no shadows, no dark spots, nothing like that. It's really for, you know, if you want to read or maybe in a camping situation you need a good tent light. It's total flood. You know, it's going to give equal amount of light everywhere it's shining, which is very, very good in certain applications. Uh, unlike a flashlight where, again, you could have a hot spot in the middle and a little bit of flood out the side. So it is, uh, you know, specific to different purposes. Um, but anyway, here's your button on the side. Now you have uh, four different modes. Um, push it once, and you're going to go into your, um, your battery saving mode. Now this is actually very, very cool. This will run for a hundred hours like this. This is the lowest setting, okay? So you can see here, it's hard, you know, obviously in daylight to actually see the light. Uh, perhaps I'll, I'll do a demonstration at night to show this, uh, what this looks like in pitch black conditions. Um, this will run a hundred hours like this. By the way, the battery source, it takes four uh, AAA batteries. Uh, unfortunately, they're not included. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll kind of go over some pros and cons with this light. Um, that's the only, one of the very only cons is that the batteries are not included. But it's not a big deal. You can get uh, regular old alkaline AAAs for you know less than three bucks for a pack of four. So that's the lowest mode here, life saving mode or power saving mode. Uh, then when you hit it, and by the way, if you keep it on one mode for a while, uh, and you hit the power source again or the button, it's going to shut off. When you first uh, cycle through, you have to kind of uh, be quick about it. Um, like I said, if you don't hit the button for a while, it's going to stay in that mode, and then when you hit it, it's going to shut the uh, the unit off. So I'm going to cycle through here real quick to show you this. I'm going to kind of keep it on an angle so it's not directly at you, um, but so you can still see it. First is power saving. Then you have low, medium, and then high. Okay, now once you hit high mode, that red light's going to shut off to let you know that you've just cycled through all the modes. And then, of course, if you hit it again, it's going to shut off. But as you can see here, even during the day, in high, you can, you can see that light. Now you can see how it's an area light. You know, it's, going to, it's going to be all flood for you. Um, and then, of course, one more time, it's going to shut off. Now, this little uh, light right here will actually turn red when your battery power is less than 25% to let you know that, you know, you're running low on batteries, you need to change them. Um, let me show you how this uh, opens up here. You have the, uh, the, the front part here is actually a metal skinned kind of a shell. And if you just pop that open, you'll see this pivots down. Okay, here's your battery section here. A simple flathead to get to those triple A's um, and then once this is flat here you can actually pivot this by turning this this will rotate all the way around so now you can fold this on the back side okay to clip it open uh, of course you know for for travel and storage you're going to want this on the other side to kind of protect that but as you can see here even when it's closed it's going to um, leave this area open here so you can still use the light so if you want to use it, you know, real quick to see something, you can pull out of your pouch, you know, or pull out of your pocket, and, uh, you know, you're ready to go here. You don't have to, um, you don't have to undo that case. Okay, so let me put this back open. Very simple to do. Now you have this uh, bar here that pops out, and it kind of locks in place, just like so. And that's what's going to keep this light up for you. Now, again, limited only to your imagination, there are, again, probably a hundred different ways you can actually uh, mount this or sit this so that it is hands-free. In this case, it's on a downward angle, 
it's uh, probably most ideal for, like I said, maybe reading or if you're writing a paper or something. Um, of course, you can adjust this depending on what angle you want it, you know, more of a severe angle. You could um, put this all the way up. You can actually turn this sideways and use this, um, you know, pretty much any, any fashion you, you want. If you uh, put an angle like this, you can use it sideways. You could, um, you know, you can fold this, uh, this back here and take this bar out and you can actually hang this if you wanted to upside down on something and that's kind of what um what this uh... they give you this cable cable organizer piece for uh... it's not supplied with any kind of um... you know cable or wire or anything like that but basically uh... what you do is you flip this this rubber up here okay just like so and you can use your own cord whether you want to use you know maybe a metal wire or maybe something as simple as power cord or maybe something even thinner. Now, obviously, the thinner you go, the more more length you're going to be be able to get on here. But basically, you kind of just wrap it around and around and around, and then it organizes it for you, so that when you want to use it, you just uh, pop out the piece you want and you go around to get the length you want. Then, of course, you can do a simple knot, and like I said, mount this. Maybe if you know, for as far as an outdoor situation, you can mount this up in a tree, over a branch if you wanted to. You can use this portion here to mount it. Uh, again only limited to your imagination however, one, however you want to, uh, to use this light but there are tons and tons of different ways you can use this uh, the manual even shows you just a couple simple simple ways to use it lighting upward, downward, uh, upward on an angle and then like a sideway view so again you know totally limited to your imagination any way you want to, uh, any way you want to use this to get the, the light where you really need it so very cool um, so that's that's why they they give you this. So you can do that. You have the option to carry some kind of cord with you to mount that uh, in different different ways. So let me give you a little bit more specs on this light. Like I said, it's uh, powered on four AAA batteries, uh, easily replaceable. On the full power, you have uh, one hour of runtime. Okay, that's on high. Then when you're in medium, you have two and a half hours of runtime, and then on low, you have 12 hours of runtime. But again, don't forget, you know, in uh, some kind of survival type situation or, you know, if you really want to get the best longevity uh, out of your, um, your batteries, just that first mode, that uh, life-saving mode, will run for 100 hours. Um, now, I have not tested this on 100 hours. However, I did put a fresh set of batteries in, and um, on high, it did run for exactly an hour. Okay, so the, the run times, to the best of my knowledge, are very accurate. Um, and it just and the light went on, you know, three quarters of the way in, which would show that it's about 25 percent. So it is very accurate to the uh, to the specs. Um, very easy to operate, as you can see. It's compact and portable. Gotta love that. Uh, now the size here, I'm gonna give you the dimensions first in millimeters, and then I'll give you the weight in grams, and then of course I'll do for my uh, American viewers. I'll give you. I have a ruler here. I'll give you inches, and then I have a um, a scale here, which I'll give you ounces. Uh, the dimensions in in millimeters are 115 by 66 by 17. Uh, as far as weight, it's 98 grams. So now let me give you uh, the measurement. I'll give you the weight first in ounces. Turn my scale on here. Make sure I'm uh, in ounces. Okay. Make sure I'm at zero. Now this weighs. Get my keep camera in here a little better so you can see 5.05 ounces okay so five ounces about the same weight as a pretty pretty hefty uh, folding knife which really isn't that bad at all uh, as far as dimensions got my ruler here it is uh, with the extended piece here the actual hinge it's just under four and a half inches long by exactly two and a half inches wide and almost exactly a half an inch of uh, width okay so it, it really is compact you can see it in my hand here it's just like um, I would say imagine it like a fat iPod you know the full size iPod uh, a little bit obviously wider uh, but about the same you know handheld size maybe a, a small portable radio something along, along uh, those lines 
but it is very, very portable, very convenient. Um, the price on these, it's actually suggested retail for this specific model, is $40. Um, however, once these become more you know, widely spread, they're still kind of new. Um, not a whole lot of places sell it. If you do a Google search for uh, Altus Lumen, you can find you know, the different models and this one uh, offered on a couple different websites. But if you buy direct from them, it's $40. Uh, I've seen them as low as $30. You know, so again, just look around for the best price. Um, but in my opinion, it's hard to compare because there's not many lights like this. This is definitely its own thing. Um, there's not a big market for, like I said, a portable light, okay? A portable area light that's running on LEDs. You know, it is very power efficient. Um, LEDs are kind of the standard now in, uh, you know, pretty much all flashlights. Um, you know, so you're getting your, your best... Uh, best of your money there, you know, I mean, running on incandescent light, it takes more energy, it's not, again, you know, the uh, earth-friendly aspect of it, it's not very environmentally friendly, um, you know, so it, you're getting the most light you can out of your batteries. Uh, the, again, just, you can use your imagination, there's plenty of different uses for these, and like I said, it, you know, it's just their own market, you know, it, it's hard to compare it to anything else, and so far, there's nothing else that, can, that I have anyway, or that I've seen, that can compare to this light. Now they do have other models. I will also be um, doing a review very soon on the Tri-L, which is a little bit different. That's actually a rechargeable uh, version of this light. Uh, definitely cool. It has its own little features. Um, but, you know, they all serve a purpose. The Tri-L is also more expensive uh, because of more versatility. But, um, but anyway, this is a fantastic light. Hats off to, uh, to Altus Lumen. A very innovative product. Absolutely love it. It's really, it's a fantastic product. Uh, if you guys are interested in these, you can, again, maybe do a Google search for Altus Lumen uh, to find out, to go to their website and maybe even get more information on this product. And, again, maybe uh, contact them to see what companies or retailers that they're, uh, they're giving these to to sell online. Or if perhaps they're available in stores. I don't know if uh, they're available to buy in any kind of walk-in store, such as uh, hardware stores or anything like that. Uh, I just don't know. Uh, so far, the only place I've seen them is online. So, uh, very, very cool product. Like I said, you know, it's just it's its own thing. Um, some oh, I wanted to go over just a couple of the cons real quick. Uh, I didn't mention uh, operating temperature. It's one thing I uh, kind of skipped over there. Uh, this will uh, only operate functionally or correctly uh, within 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for all you, you know, people around the world, that's 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. Um, not the, I would say, best uh, operating conditions. I mean, there's a lot of you guys out there that are in very cold weather. Uh, again, you know, when it goes under 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, it's not going to, um, it's not made to function properly anyway. Uh, so it's, I would say that's one con to this light is that uh, in really extreme colds, you know, uh, it's not, maybe not going to work for you the best. Um, it is weatherproof, but not waterproof. It's water resistant, okay? So, you know, in a, in a rainy situation, it's going to work fine for you. However, you don't want to submerge this underwater, okay? You don't want to dunk it underwater. It's not meant for diving or anything like that. Um, but in normal, normal weather conditions, you should be totally fine. Uh, I can take a little bit of abuse. I actually dropped this on accident. Uh, from the waist onto a very uh, hard surface uh, and actually it didn't affect it whatsoever. Uh, it didn't even scratch it. Uh, so that was good. It was an, actually an accidental uh, test there for its uh, durability, but it's been uh, functioning just fine since. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, one uh, besides, you know, not being able to operate in super cold conditions, uh, the fact that you don't get the batteries, kind of a downside, just want to mention it. Not a big deal for me. I mean, most people have uh, AAA batteries laying around anyway. But, uh, you know, I do want to mention the good and the bad. Uh, but definitely, the good, uh, good aspects of this uh, light definitely outweigh the fact that it won't work in super cold conditions or that you don't get batteries. Uh, some of the best electronics out there don't come with batteries. So, not a, not a big issue for me. But definitely a very cool light, very innovative uh, like I said, you know, it's just his own thing. I can't say it enough. I've probably repeated myself a hundred times. There's nothing else out there like it. So uh, it's definitely cool. And uh, 
hope you guys enjoyed the review. A totally, totally different kind of light. Most people have never seen these or are used to something like this, including myself. Uh, but I was uh, very happy with it. I have to say, very happy with the light. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And you can look forward to the other review of the Tri-L model, which uh, I should show, show pretty soon. So thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.